So a union moving in, even though the workers are against it. This is quite a story. The United Auto Workers saying that they're on the verge of being officially recognized by Volkswagen at a non-union plant in Tennessee, despite the fact that when they presented their program to these workers, the workers voted to block the union. Jonathan Seri reporting live on this from Atlanta. So Jonathan, Volkswagen has just announced this. Uh, well, the Volkswagen just came out with its announcement just minutes ago. It set guidelines for how it will interact with labor organizations. Now, a couple days before this announcement came out, local representatives of the United Auto Workers sent this letter out to employees at VW's Chattanooga plant. And reading from this letter, it says, quote, it is our understanding that Volkswagen this week will announce a new policy in Chattanooga that will lead to recognition of Local 42. Now, what exactly does recognition mean? Well, in today's announcement, VW cites three examples, saying as a labor organization representing employees at the plant grows, it could gain the ability to use company space for group meetings, post information and announcements inside the plant, and have regular meetings with management. But a high-ranking official with knowledge of the agreement tells Fox News the new policy does not involve collective bargaining in any shape or form. Martha? So how many groups will we represent it, Jonathan? Yeah, well, obviously the UAW would like to have a significant representation at the plant. They, their goal is to become a UAW-represented facility. But several sources say VW's intent is not to unionize its Chattanooga plant, at least not in a traditional sense, but to build collaboration between management and both blue and white-collar employees in an arrangement modeled after the Works Councils in Germany. There is a local non-union group called the American Council of Employees that serves as a line of communication between employees and management at the Chattanooga plant, that organization also expects to have a seat at the table. Listen. My understanding that any policy that will be announced will be to recognize multiple and work with multiple employee organizations, not just to recognize UAW as the sole representation of the uh, workers. And in its announcement today, VW said that any employee at the plant can approach management with an idea or concern, but VW wanted to set these new guidelines for groups representing large numbers of employees who wanted to come to management with common interests or concerns. Martha? Quite a story. Jonathan, thank you very much.